Good morning, everybody. It's time to start a new day. It's uh, still snowy, still cold, but uh, the chickens are out. It's a new day. I'm off work for the next, for the rest of the week, so it's always good. Uh, right now, I'm filling up some water for Mr. Pig and Miss Piggy, so let's go take care of that first. Miss Piggy was on Mr. Pig's side. That's no good. There was one spot in the fence yesterday that I saw that was kind of low where she could have uh, squeezed through. So I need to try to fix that today. If I can remember that spot, I'm here carrying the feed. And I really need to lower this spot in the fence. This is the same spot. Well, not the same spot, but close to the spot where Rachel tripped a couple days ago. All right, let me feed these guys. I'm kind of intimidated by this animal here because He's humongous. He's not so bad. Good monster. There you go. Let me get you your water though while you're eating. They've all had their breakfast. And they're all in their separate areas, so that's good. I still have to find that low spot in the fence where they got through. Now let's go check on the goats because I'm sure they're hungry by now. Good morning, goats. You ready for breakfast? Hang on just a second. I'll get you some right now. Oh, I can't wait until this barn's fully functional again and operating like it should be. All right, here's some. This will distract you until I can open the gate. Gilbert, over here. There you go. That way you don't have to all three get your heads in the same hole. Here's some for you, Harmony. Oh, your hope. Okay. All right, you guys enjoy that. Oh, Gilbert, what happened to your horn? You got some blood there on your head. How in the world did that happen? Let's see if I can get a little closer and check that out. It doesn't look too bad, but... What did that? So even though he's a mean goat, I don't want to see him hurt. We're going to try to sell him. I want a, I don't want a scaredy cat goat, but I don't want an aggressive one either. So we'll take care of him. I can have him rearing up on my wife or my little girl. And even though we have the livestock commodity mix, they still need hay. All right, and there's your water with hay flavor. You guys aren't thirsty? You were kind of not to get past this gate. You shall not pass. My wife would be proud to punch me knowing that. She actually introduced me to the movie. I never watched it until I got married to her. So it's it's February 27th. It's 27 degrees. Pretty cold. This is pretty typical where we live. Uh, we'll have a few mild winters, not much snow. And then in four to five years, it'll come a big snowstorm or ice storm. So we were due for one of these. Um, where are you from? We're from Kentucky. I guess you guess it from our YouTube channel name. And how's the weather down there? You know, or up there, depending on where you're. Our pond is completely froze over. And those geese that were there yesterday have moved on. And I can't say I blame them. They're definitely looking for a warmer spot. I just can't get over how beautiful it is so nice and peaceful and calm plenty of work to do I'm not gonna be bored so does anybody know what these berries are we have two spots that are just full of them the goats love them and i plan to put them to work on this as soon as possible 
If you know, leave it in the comments. I'm gonna take care of the chickens now. There we go. Get yourself some water. I wish I had the camera on a while ago. I was trying to break open the water jugs, but it was iced over. So I was like, well, I'm gonna have to take it out and get it out of here. And they kept following me and they were trying to run out the door as I was taking the water jug out. And I was like, back you savages, back. And they just kept coming and coming. I see you guys are out of food too. Normally, that would hold them for uh, two or three days. Now you have to fill it up every single day. And I finished off their meat bird feed yesterday. So I'm going to go back and lug that over here. But that will last them about at least a week. But they're definitely getting bigger. Looking forward to having you guys in the freezer. You're like, what are you talking about? We're freezing already. But I got two good heat lamps to keep them warm. And when I came in the first thing, they weren't all huddled together like they normally are. So maybe with their combined body heat and them being feathered out. And uh, I sealed up their window. Makes things a little bit better. Luca, can you just check on the water with me? Jenny, yes. She's a good puppy. She's a good puppy dog. And there you go. I want to keep you fed. There's a big hole in the bag, so when I poured it, I spilled a little too much. You guys eat that up. I don't want the mouse to get it. I, try, I saw a mouse in here when I went to go feed the chickens. That's, I guess that's what you get for leaving your feet out here. But I saw where he crawled through. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's a little crack down there where he got through. So they just had mice getting in here, eating all our food. I mean, you got to expect it when you keep your feed in the chicken house. Ah, uh, there we go. It's just a lot more convenient to have it in here and ready, but... If they get to where they're getting here all the time, well, we can have that. And I'll have to put in a plastic tote in here or something. Good morning, ducks. I just love how they all stick together. And one turns and the rest of them turn. And I go this way. And they all go that way. And this way. All right, I won't bother you anymore. Good morning, chickens. You drank all your water already? It's frozen. I'm going to bring in some more, won't I? That's all right. I don't mind. Just stay alive is the main thing. It's it's a pretty bad winter. Poor things. Any eggs? Ooh, we do have an egg. Not bad. Excuse me, Isa Browns. Any... Oh, good grief. I really need to clean that roosting box out. So if you look over here where there's a corner here, we were going to expand this fence out, but we can't for two reasons. One, I think it's pretty obvious. All these dead leaves. And uh, I believe that some of that wiring is some of the original chicken wire I had up when I first rebuilt it. But underneath this pile of junk that we're going to have removed is an old cistern and uh i was wondering um, the cistern fell through so it needed to be covered up but maybe we can make a better covering for it and i don't know but maybe we could repurpose it or something or use it as a root cellar or something i just want every part of this land to be productive and useful and uh i don't know if there's a safe way to do it because if the cistern fell in there's obviously a sinkhole or, or some that done it. Uh, I just want everything to be safe, but I want to utilize every square inch that I can. So this is a spot where we're definitely going to have a root cellar. Of course, we're going to seal this up completely. Need to do some masonry work. 
around here and put some more blocks. Get all that trash out of the bottom. I'm sure you've seen that from where we rescued the duck several times. Hey, George. And also over there is another potential spot for a root cellar if we can build it safely. And also, I don't know where we would build this, but uh, because we're gonna have to learn how to butcher our own hogs. Reason being is because the butchers are so backed up from the pandemic and then being shut down, they're backed up until some of them are till 2022 and we just can't wait that long. And um, it's a bit, sounds a bit challenging. I've never done hogs before. I've, uh, we've done a couple chicken. Well, we've done like 15 chickens this winter, but it wasn't that bad. You just drop them in the boiler. And this year we got a chicken plucker. We're just gonna drop them in there and it'll be done. Um, pigs seem a, much more difficult, but that's why there's YouTube, right? You can get on there and learn any kind of skill you want. Oh, and let me show you something else. This is Rachel's winter sewing. Uh, I think she planted some peppers and two other things I can't remember what but I'm very excited I never heard of winter sewing like this before but apparently it works so we'll just have to wait and see I'm excited to see how they germinate so stick around you can follow along and see how that goes oh and if you haven't seen the video yet um we'll have it linked in the description so you can see that so we were thinking about a greenhouse right here beside where our new garden will be. Our pigs hopefully are going to be able to plow that up for us, but I imagine the ground is rock solid right now. But a, the biggest greenhouse we can get right about here, I, I don't see it until maybe uh, two or three years. But then again, we keep surprising ourselves because we keep growing by leaps and bounds when we don't expect to. Moving quite along. All right, let's go check that fence out where I saw that little pig get through. You can't be getting through like that. You can't be with Mr. Pig. Let's, oh, I'll see where the problem is. Yeah, right about there. Well, one of the problems is it's, it's two strand. We really need a third strand here. Well, Miss Piggy wouldn't even come for grain because she already has some and the birds are enjoying it right now. She is way over. Let's see if I can zoom in. Way over there where Mr. Pig is dug out. I don't know what we're going to do. I'll give her one thing though. Oh, I think Mr. Pig started her out. But I think she found some good roots to eat. Yeah, come here, Miss Pig. I got your bucket. You like your bucket, don't you? Come get it. Come get it. Come on. Come on, girl. That's right. Bottle brandy. Yeah. Bottle me. Oh, sorry if it's shaky, guys. I'm walking on rocky terrain. No, don't go. Don't go in there. Don't you bet. Oh, you just don't come out of there right now, Missy. You come out of there right now. That's not your home. Way too big for you. You can't afford this anyway. Out. I got your bucket. I got you. Come on. I don't think Mr. Pig's going to appreciate you messing up his house. Oh, you don't care. Okay. There you go. Come on out. Get some feet. Get some feet. That's right. Just slip right on through where you got out at. Where did you get out at? Big. Big. Woo. Well, I don't think it's going to work. <sighs> I can't get her to listen to reason. Th 
this isn't, this is just too big for you. Far too big. Or do you just like the scratching post better? Oh, that's the spot. But we must have another strain here it's very, very soon. I'll try it tomorrow. Just too worn out right now. Junie's decided to come along and show you around the place for new plants as well. I gotta get, oh, she found a bird. Get it, Jenny, get it! As long as she's chasing those birds and not our chickens, we'll be okay. So, like I said, here's our garden. And if I can just turn this way, right here is where we're gonna put our fruit trees. And we're going to have apple and peach and plum trees. And some by the White House as well. Oh, my wife's calling, let me call her. And look here, more tires. I found tires everywhere. I could open up my own Goodyear shop. I found them in beside the old white house and in our front yard and in the barn. But uh, I can put these to good use. This is what we got from the seed savers. That's sweet marjoram right there. Here we have the radish, 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 pumpkin, <laughs> broccoli, and loofah. The loofah should really get in as soon as possible. Um, it has a very long growing season. I cannot start it in um, the winter sowing because it doesn't transplant well, um, unfortunately. But if it could, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, now, why all the radish? I'm sure you're wondering. But pumpkin is very susceptible to um, certain pests, specifically um, squash bugs. Um, and radishes, if you have radishes in the soil first, it will help to repel the squash bugs before they ever come, along with the other, like the pumpkin beetle and the other pests. Um, so we plan to just, I mean, we have a lot of radish seeds, and we plan to just uh, saturate the land that we will put the pumpkin on before we can even put the pumpkin. And then um, we're actually going to plant the, the three sisters, like they did in Indian times. We're going to do two varieties of that. So one with corn and beans, and then the pumpkin around it. And the really neat thing about that is that... Um, the corn is a heavy feeder, and it it takes a lot of nitrogen from the soil. But beans give a lot of nitrogen to the soil. And then the pumpkin is a big plant, but it can kind of, vines can kind of sprawl around the other, um, the, the strong corn stalk. <laughs> and then on the other side of the garden, we're going to have sunflowers, peas, and watermelon. Um, now corn won't work with watermelon because corn takes up too much of the sunlight and watermelon needs all the light it can get. Um, so that's why we chose sunflowers because you can space sunflowers out as much as you want. But sunflowers put out a chemical enzyme that inhibits the growth of the beans. So that's why we're doing peas. <laughs> um, and we have one more thing, and I'm not sure where to put it in the garden because we have sweet corn and we have the glass gem corn. Um, the glass gem corn is good for either ornamental or for popcorn or for cornmeal. So I like that. It's a good multi-purpose one and, and it's pretty, you know? <laughs> um, I'm not worried about the two crossing because the sweet corn has 80 days to maturity, whereas the glass gem corn has like 120 days. So it's separated by a good month. Um, so as long as like, I'm gonna plant the sweet corn as soon as possible, 
and then wait a bit for the glass gem so that they're separated by even more time just to make sure they don't cross so that we we can save seeds for the future.